lots of different people who've inspired me, uh, people who are LGBT themselves. Um, one very recently that inspired me was Derek Mackay, who's in my own government, who came out when he was a government minister uh, in the public eye and, you know, did that in a way that I think helped give confidence to and inspire others. Uh, I'm also inspired by people, uh, you know, Jerry and Susan Douglas Scott, whose uh, marriage I was the witness at. Uh, they're of a generation, I hope they don't mind me saying that, incidentally, where, you know, coming out at a time when it wasn't as easy as it is today, although it's still not often easy, and, you know, standing up and being counted. So people like that inspire me uh, all the time. Well, I'm delighted to be a Purple Hero and I hope I can live up to that. And how I want to express that and live up to that is just trying to lead by example. I want a Scotland where everybody feels that they can be who they are. And, you know, as First Minister, I've got an opportunity to be very public about that aspiration, but also to make sure we have the, the laws and the environment in which that can be a reality. One of the proudest days of my entire time in Parliament was the day we passed the Equal Marriage Act. And I was proud to be the minister that started that consultation that led to that legislation. So each and every day, all of us should stand up uh, for the rights of people to be themselves and to be proud of who they are. Because Scotland belongs to all of us and we've all got a stake in making it an inclusive country where everybody gets to be themselves and to fulfil their potential. And for any community that can be vulnerable to discrimination and prejudice, I feel really strongly it's not just for people in that community to stand up for that, it's for all of us to stand with them and fight for inclusion and tolerance and respect and diversity. So every single person has a stake in this and should pledge to be purple heroes themselves. Thank you.